Nanner here. Today we make Arma 3 run smooth like butter. With mods, the Arma 3 Remastered Performance RDLC is your one-stop shop, claw for any frames you can possibly get your hands on. I am going to go over how to get the most FPS from each of these mods and how to get them. Then I will hit on things you should know so you don't get confused about how your RTX 69420 Ti graphics card can't run Arma 3 and proceed to repeatedly bang your head against the wall. To increase your FPS without mods, watch my other performance videos that a lot of players like you found useful. Let's do it. Automatic view distance. This one is probably the most effective. It automatically adjusts your view distance to reach your desired FPS. View distance is simply the distance between the player and the wall of fog that blocks you from seeing anything beyond it. That's where my view distance ends. Anything that is behind the wall of fog does not load on your PC and therefore blesses you with frames. How do we set this up? Open the pause menu, go to configure video options. Now turn on automatic view distance. Set your desired FPS, be realistic here. Setting it to 144 FPS will never get me anywhere close to 144. It would just make me always have the minimum view distance, which is set in this field right here. I recommend setting the target FPS to 30 since that is the bare minimum for smooth gameplay and will allow you to have higher view distances or if you have a little bit higher taste, stick with 40. This client side mod works so well for my friends who joined me on my fake six days in Fallujah video that they went from lagging real hard to having zero lag issues at all. Sorrow Tweak Map FPS uses a creative way to get similar benefits to lowering your object view distance, but without making land at a distance flat and empty just for buildings and trees to pop in and out of thin air. Instead, it removes random buildings, rocks, and other objects throughout the entire terrain. This way, you can play on any terrain and maximize FPS while still being able to see long into the distance. With so many objects throughout Arma 3 maps, you won't miss the few that are missing. Plus, this changes up every terrain so that no terrain is the same between missions. You have full control over how many of each type of object to remove from the terrain via the add-on menu. The mod starts its work at the start of each mission, which takes several seconds to complete and will not rerun the rest of the mission, making this a server and client side mod. Enhanced video settings. You may have remembered this mod from the graphics RDLC video for ultra high graphics settings. Well, it can increase your FPS by allowing you to use very low graphics settings that are not available in the base game, which can lead to some interesting results. Pick your battles on this client side mod. Extend PIP limits. PIP is picture in picture and is a fancy word to explain a feature in Arma that is used in visuals like car mirrors and modded scopes. The game mimics a mirror by just displaying the image of special in-game camera, making the image in the mirror the picture in the larger picture, which is your view and everything else in the world you see. PIP is also notorious for decreasing FPS while adding little in value because people just do not use mirrors all that much. You can set the PIP detail to low or just disable it. Disabling PIP would render all mirrors useless and PIP scopes broken, so you might opt to set PIP on. If that is the case, you can lower the PIP view distance to 500 meters minimum. That does seem high for most cases. Luckily, you can now lower the PIP view distance to as low as 50 meters, boosting any FPS loss from the infamous feature. Arma 3 Performance Extension. Adding on to the list of mods that optimize FPS by removing objects, this one focuses on hiding, you guessed it, people. It uses voodoo magic to track your eyes and what you can see only load items that you can see. Enemy behind you, invisible. Friendly on the other side of a truck, invisible. A whole group of civilians dancing to dubstep just across the street inside of a house, invisible. But you would never know. At least that is the idea. Video games have been using this trick for a long time any objects outside the player's field of view do not load, leaving much needed resources available to load what the player can see. This server side mod with optional client side takes this a step forward by even not loading soldiers when they are hidden behind cover, such as walls, only to have them reappear in sight of the player, meaning the player has no idea this is happening, but their FPS will. Just load into a mission and press the customizable hotkey to turn this feature on. There is one catch. You might see AI pop out of thin air around corners, because the mechanism to make them invisible to visible is slightly slower than the refresh rate. But if you're getting good performance, you likely will not notice this problem. CH view distance. Yes, 
This is an old classic and that, on the surface, appears to be obsolete due to the other view distance mod mentioned earlier, but this is still absolutely necessary. CH view distance is known for changing your view distance based on whether you're on foot, in a ground vehicle, or in an air vehicle. For us, we really just want this mod so we can change the ground texture detail. When on foot, we want to see high quality textures on the ground. When we're up high in a jet, we can't even appreciate it, so we might as well squeak out a few more FPS by lowering the texture quality. That's where CH view distance comes in. This performance RDLC might switch CH view distance to another similar mod called perceptive. If you do not see CH view distance, look for the perceptive mod instead. The same deal with an additional audio feature. This still doesn't address the new problem with automatic view distance, keeping your view distance low, even in a air vehicle. Dynamic view distance. Even with automatic view distance on, your view distance will increase as you go higher and higher into the sky making CH view distance or perceptive, automatic view distance and dynamic view distance the best combination of performance mods without having to go in and out of video settings adjusting view distance when jumping in and out of helicopters. AGC advanced garbage cleanup. It goes after the problem of dead bodies. These corpses lay on the ground doing nothing except a whole bunch of eating your frames. In the same way you do not care to see details on the ground when high up, you don't care for details when objects are far away. With this mod, bodily remains transform into body bags when they are far away from the player, still within the object distance. Why does this increase FPS? Because the computer has less polygons to load in a body bag than a human body that has ragdoll physics. It's also really nice that this is server side. How many FPS you gain from using these mods will vary based on the number of AI, view distance, settings, PC hardware, number of dead bodies, and a whole bunch of other stuff. You could gain a lot of FPS in one situation and not much at all in another situation. Basically, the less optimized the server or a single player mission you're playing is, the more these mods will help you. Now listen closely, I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys have sent me many times. The first one is, can I use these mods on multiplayer? Well, yes and no. This one is tricky. You guys are smart, so you would not be asking this if it was not tricky. It, it just depends. The multiplayer server you join decides which mods are allowed or not. So tell your favorite server admins about Arma 3 Remastered and this performance RDLC and ask them to allow these mods on their servers. Another common question is, my FPS did not increase. What, what did I do wrong? This question is less about these mods, but more about my other performance video. The most common reason is that multiplayer servers you're playing on have an FPS limit. They don't pick the FPS, but the server has resource limits combined with Arma 3's out of date real virtual reality engine, meaning that there isn't much you can do. Each mod and setting opens an FPS bottleneck. The most common bottleneck is that Arma 3's engine prefers to use little sister CPU instead of big brother GPU and then proceeds to effectively love a single core from today's multi core CPUs. But these fixes tried to minimize work for that CPU one team member who does all the work core, meaning if you already have strong single core CPUs rated at over four gigahertz, you're not going to see a significant increase in FPS. The other bottleneck is your RAM. The more AI or other dynamic calculations going on mid game, the more RAM you need and you may max out. But that's not it for RAM. Your RAM speed actually matters here where other games don't care really as much as Arma. Somebody smart explain why RAM speed is important in the comments, please, because I still haven't wrapped my mind around that one. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. If you have any other ideas on increasing FPS, leave a comment. Check out my other video on boosting your FPS without mods. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for Arma 3 Remastered updates and the best Arma 3 mod list.